This is question 3, AS 3A 2004. The decibel is often wrongly used as a unit for sound intensity. In fact, it should be used for sound intensity level or sound intensity level difference. State an SI unit for sound intensity. You need not express this unit in SI base units. So you know that intensity you know that intensity is equal to um, power over area. So we need to get units for that. I'm just writing that in brackets. So suitable units would be watts per meter squared. State the difference between intensity level and intensity. Um, so intensity is power. Per unit area and gives an absolute value. Intensity level, however, is a ratio and it's a ratio of two intensities. Or you could say it was a ratio of a given intensity to a reference level, and that reference level is the threshold of hearing. State the feature of the decibel scale which makes it useful in expressing intensity levels and intensity level differences. And the reason is um, because there's such a wide range of values or ear. A here a very wide range of values and therefore um, a log scale is used must be used a log scale must be used and then the decibel scale is a log scale and that's why so the decibel scale is a log scale so the ear can hear a very wide range of values. We need a log scale to be used and the decibel scale is a log scale. Part B. A detector with a meter calibrated in decibels records a reading of 93 decibels at a certain distance from a machine in a factory. Calculate the intensity of sound received at the detector. So the intensity of sound received at the detector, the equation, and you'll find this in your... In your um, data sheet. Intensity level is 10 times log to the base 10 I over I naught. In fact, I'm not just sure that you will find this in your data sheet. It depends if it's still there after the specification has changed, so it may not be there. And if you rearrange that, we need to get a value for I, so it's intensity we're looking for. So it's um, intensity level divided by 10 My log to minus 1 of that, and then you have to multiply it by I0, and that will give you I. Um, so I is equal to um, I0, which is 1 by 10 to the minus 12, multiplied by log to the uh, minus 1 of the intensity level is 93 divided by 10, and 93 over 10, of course, is 9.3. And whenever you do that, you come out with an answer of 1.99 by 10 to the minus um, 3 and given that these are all in two um, significant figures we'll round it up to 2 and so the answer goes in here is 2 by 10 to the minus 3 and you can see there the written SI units and that's because in the last part of the question 3A they asked you to give a unit so they don't want to give away that what the unit was here when they've asked you to write it down in the first bit of the question a second machine identical to the first and at the same distance from the detector is then switched on. Use your answer for, to B part 1 to find the intensity of sound at the detector when both machines are working. Um, so what you have to do here is just add up the two intensities, or in other words multiply that one by 2. So intensity is 2 by 10 to the minus, two, minus 3 plus 2 by 10 to the minus 3. And that gives you 4 by 10 to the minus 3. 
And again, that would be in watts per meter squared, but it's not written down here. Calculate the increase in the reading of the meter. So the meter is reading um, intensity levels. And so you have to calculate, out, calculate the total intensity level there. It's already reading 93 decibels. So if you get your intensity level and then uh, take away 93, you'll get your increase. And so we're going to look for intensity level. Um, and this time the intensity that's been used is 4 by 10 to the minus 3. So it's 10 log to the base 10. Four by ten to the minus three divided by one by ten to the minus twelve, and that answer comes out to be ninety six decibels. And therefore, the increase is ninety six minus ninety three, which gives you three, of course. So even though the intensity of sound is doubled, the increase in the reading is only gone up by three decibels, and that's why our ear responds to a logarithmic scale and not an intensity scale because. I mean, that's double the intensity of sound, and yet it, the de number of decibels hasn't doubled, and that's because it's a log scale. Comment on and suggest an explanation for the brain's perception of the increase in intensity when the second machine is switched on. So we, the brain doesn't perceive the sound. as twice as loud. So the brain doesn't perceive the sound as twice as loud and this is because the ear has a logarithmic response. the sound.